Hi, I'm Jordan and today we're going to be painting Ford Electric Orange. As you probably know, this is a three-stage colour, which means it requires a ground coat, a pearl coat and a clear coat. So we're going to be starting off with the ground coat. This one's quite a light orange actually for this one. And then we're going to be going over it with the darker colour, which is the pearl coat, and that's the stage two. Okay, so we've got our panel in the booth. This is the panel what's going to go orange. It's been painted before, but I've scotched it all up, flattened the nibs out, so it's prepped up ready for the orange. We're going to go ahead and lay down the first coat of the ground coat. We'll see what the coverage is like. Also, at the same time, I'm going to be spraying a test card as well, or the 3M colour match film, because I'm going to try and keep a log of the different applications I do with this colour. So however many coats of pearl or ground coat I put on, I'm going to keep note of it on the back of the card. So later on when we come to actually spray the vehicle, that I know exactly what needs to be sprayed onto the vehicle to match that colour. Because as I've said with the uh, other pearl video I've done, the pearls do vary in colours. So I might put three coats of pearl on, the next person might put four coats of pearl on, so it varies depending on you know what paint manufacturer you're using and you know the different colours when they come out of factory anyway. So let's go ahead and we'll start putting the ground coat on. I'm gonna be using the SATA 4400. Okay, so I just thought I'd voice over this bit instead of taking my mask off halfway through. It's easy for you to follow and I've had a few complaints on YouTube about uh, health and safety and so on, so it should be easier anyway. So we're applying a quarter coat or a grip coat or whatever you may call it in the trade. And this is just the first one, just to start off. I don't really count this as a coat, it's uh, just to help the water base, base coat stick to the panel. It stops it silicon up or, you know, running so easily. So we're applying one full wet coat and I'm going around the edges and basically I'm going around the edges on this because it's going to be a test panel so people are going to look at the edges but if you're on a vehicle you're only going to do one edge and that'll be the arch so it's probably taking a bit too long really for me to do this but I'm just making sure it's right. So we're using the SATA 4400 and I'm just using this gun really just to put it through with the test it's a new gun that I've got so I'm just testing it out and seeing how I can you know get on with it so why not chuck it in the deep end and do a three stage pearl with it really. So we've applied the full wet coat and we're going to go ahead and dry it. So we need to make sure that each base coat or each layer of base coat we put on is fully dry. We don't want this wet at all because with the number of coats we're going to be putting on this panel any wet base coat is going to cause us problems later down the line. So ensure it is fully dry and for that I'm using the SATA DryJet 2. So now it's dry, we're going to go ahead and put on a, another full wet coat. But before that, we're going to just do the same on our test card. Like I said earlier, we're going to follow the process on with our test card, the same as what we do on the wing. So this is the next full wet coat. So this is the second wet coat. And the coverage is nearly there. It looks better on camera. Um, but it does look a bit worse for wear in person so I'll show you what I'll do in a minute to double check. So I'm spraying at 2 bar with the 4400 and we've got the RPS cups on just for ease of use and I'm going to save this colour for later on as well. So after the edges we're just going to put a full wet coat on the front and so on and now we're going to dry it. So again like I said make sure that base coat is fully dry especially with us going to put that pearl on top. And again, we're just going to make sure we put that coat on the test card. So the wing and test card have the equal amount of coats on. And now we're going to go ahead and put the final full wet coat of the base coat or ground coat. Or stage one colour, shall we say. And this has achieved the coverage I want. Um, Again, it's probably my fault really. I should have wet on wetted the wing with a white to start off with. This would have stopped some of the coverage problems that I did have with this colour. Um, but, you know, I should remember for the future. It's just a test panel. If it was a car, you know, it would be different. It wouldn't be blue. 
so it'll be easier for you to paint really. So we've done a full wet coat on that wing and it's achieved the perfect coverage that I wanted. And again, make sure that base coat is thoroughly dry now at this point because this is the last time we've put that ground coat on. So once this is thoroughly dry, we're going to go ahead and put the pearl coat on. At this point, some people like to bake the panel or put it on flash off for 15 minutes, make sure that panel is really dry. And what I normally do with pearls or three stages is I've got this scan grip sun match light here and I'm checking for the opacity or coverage of the paint on the panel. This will highlight any see-through areas or any areas what are not covered sufficiently to what I want them to be. It's quite a cheap tool to have as well and it's good just to have as a painter really for in the booth and colour matching. Okay, so I've just plugged my microphone in just for this bit. The first bit here, which is the first stage, or stage one of this colour, this is the hardest part because you've got to put quite a few ground coats on to cover what's underneath or get that coverage you need. So we've put um, the appropriate number of coats on, so we're going to go ahead now and go over it with a pearl coat. So if you look at this colour now, it's quite pastely. So when we go over with this one, it's going to change that straight away from that pastel colour to that deep, goldy, pearly orange, what we want. So that's the main wing. I've got my test card over here. So I'm doing this alongside this so I can constantly make sure that, you know, I've got that in my diary for when I come to do this colour again. So I've got that. We'll go ahead and we'll put um, a coat of the pearl coat on. I'm going to take the microphone off and then I'll voice over the rest and I'll talk you through what I'm doing and how I'm applying the pearl coat. So, let's go. So we're going to go ahead and apply our pearl coat now. So I'm starting off by going over the edges again and this is purely because I'm doing this on a test panel. If this was on a vehicle you wouldn't need to worry about doing the edges and so on, maybe just underneath the wheel arch. So we're applying the pearl coat now, this is the first coat, and we're applying this as a full wet coat. You want to put your trigger all the way in and let that paint come out. You do not want to dust this coat on, because this is where some of you may get that patchiness, um, stripiness and so on. So again, full trigger, let that paint come out, let it flow onto that panel and get a nice smooth wet coat. This I help find, um, get a nice smooth even coat in the pearl. So, you know, try that if you want because it definitely works for me. Again, I'm following that process on the test card as well. So I've applied just one full coat and you can see the difference in the pearl already that it's made on that wing. We've gone straight away from that pastely colour to that dark deep orange. So I'm just drying it now with the dry jet. And again, with it being a pearl coat, we're just going to go and test that colour. We're using the Scangrip Sun Match, and this is just helping me see the pearl coat and see how the pearl is, because again, you need to match it to that vehicle. So depending on what vehicle you're working on, you know, you might need one coat or three coats of pearl. So I've just checked it. We're going to go ahead and put another full wet coat on. So again, I'm pressing that trigger all the way in and letting that paint come out onto the panel. Your overlaps need to be the same as you normally would when, you, when you're applying base. You don't want to flood the panel. Some people might do a smaller overlap, but again, you know, try and keep the same as you would normally apply in base because you don't want to flood that panel and get stripes, or you don't want it going too dark as well by applying too much. With this colour, you're best off not applying enough and putting more on than applying too much and having that too dark colour because you can't fix it. <clears throat> At least at this point, if it's too light, you can apply more if needed. So you've probably noticed there, I'm moving that cup. Again, you know, just a quick one about the cups. You can move them in any direction if you're spraying underneath a car and so on, which I like. Again, following that same process with the test card. So we're going to dry the panel. Again, you know, there's a lot of coats on here now. We've put three ground coats on and two pearls so 
there's a lot of paint on there we need to make sure that's all dry we don't want any defects later on down the line so now the paint is fully dry we're going to test it one last time with the sun match and again this is just checking for any patchiness or any defects that could occur along the process I do like using these because again if there's any problems we can rectify that now before later on and that's it for applying the pearl um, I could talk you through the clear and so on but what I'm going to do we're going to jump to the finished process and I'll show you what type of finish we got so this is the wing this is the final finish so I used the SATA 4400 um, for the base and for the clear as well so this is the type of finish I got and I'm just trying to show you the pearl with the sun match it's not patchy at all it's really gone on nice I felt quite lucky with this really using the 4400 I've really put it to the test on using this color on this wing but again you know you might want to use a bigger gun for this color because you'll be spraying a full side and blending the color rather than doing just a small panel and that's it for this video check out the next video of clear coat in this panel and it's just a video to further on from this one and that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed watching it and don't forget to check out the other videos on the YouTube channel and also check out my Facebook and my Instagram as well there's loads of stuff going on there every day thanks for watching